Are you a user of the Exchange Kraken and are concerned with the recent court orders for the IRS to collect taxpayer information from users on Kraken? Are you receiving tax notices related to this data collection and your transactions on Kraken? If so, you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to go over what data the IRS has collected from Kraken, what this means for taxpayers, and what you need to do if you get a tax notice related to your transactions on Kraken or any other exchange for that matter. So certain taxpayers are at risk of receiving notices from the IRS related to their transactions on Kraken as a result of a Joe Don, Joe John Doe audit. Cut that part out, restart it. Keep the intro, I'm gonna redo this part because of that misspeaking. Certain Kraken users may be at risk of receiving tax notices from the IRS related to their transactions on Kraken due to a John Doe, John Doe order that was imposed on Kraken by the IRS back in 2021. During 2023, we've seen court orders that have approved the release of this information from Kraken to the IRS. And as a result, we expect many taxpayers will be getting tax notices related to transactions on Kraken and related to Kraken that they have not reported or underreported on their tax filings. So what information will Kraken be sharing with tax authorities? Well, firstly, if you've exceeded $20,000 on Kraken, chances are that as part of this John Doe audit, your information will be included with the information that Kraken provides to the IRS. What they'll be providing them is all transactional data, deposits, withdrawals, transactions that have taken place on the exchange, along with all relevant KYC information, name, identifying information, addresses, all of the information that you use to register your account. They'll be providing all this to the IRS. Kraken will be sharing this information with the IRS as early as November 2023. It's important to keep in mind that the IRS uses John Doe audits as a tool to collect, to collect taxpayer data on crypto transactions to build a profile on a taxpayer related to their transactions that they may be underreporting. This John Doe audit with Kraken is one of many John Doe audits across several exchanges that we have seen in the history of taxation related to cryptocurrency. And I've covered all of these instances throughout the many years. So what should Kraken users expect if their data is getting shared with the IRS and they've possibly underreported their transactions? Well, what you should likely expect is that you're going to receive a tax notice in the mail from the IRS. Now, these tax notices can take a few forms. Mainly, the tax notices are going to be numbered 6173, 6174, or 6174-A. Each one of these tax notices has a slightly different meaning and requires different action from you as the taxpayer. Tax notices 6174 and 6174-A are what are called no action notices. So these tax notices are going to make you aware of transactions that the IRS has on file. These notices may encourage you to amend or report delinquent tax returns if you believe that, that they are not reported or not reported accurately. If you receive this type of tax notice, of course you wanna review this in detail with your CPA for accuracy. And, and review this in relation to your tax returns to understand, do you have a need to amend or file delinquent tax returns? But if you did get this notice and you're confident that all of your transactions throughout the years have been reported accurately, there's no additional steps that are necessary for these specific tax notices. Now, in contrast, if you receive letter 6173, this requires that you provide a timely response to the IRS within a certain amount of days. And if you fail to do so, this can lead to further action by the IRS and your returns 
going under examination. So it's crucial that if you get this notice, again, you examine it in detail with your CPA and then you craft a timely response to that tax notice and take any other necessary corrective measures related to this tax notice and your facts and circumstances. Now, one thing to notice that the IRS may send these types of tax notices and you may actually be into compliance. That's why it's important to see exactly what these tax notices are, are stating regarding your transactions reviewing this in relation to your tax returns and determining if you report it, what you report it, if it is accurate or if it isn't accurate. And that's going to inform you on how you should appropriately respond and manage these tax notices. So overall, what steps should you take if you receive a tax notice related to your activity on Kraken or any other exchange for that matter? Step number one is to contact your CPA. Usually you're gonna get this tax notice in the mail. It's going to cause some stress, cause some worry. Step number one is to contact your CPA and your CPA should be experienced and knowledgeable at a very high level when it comes to cryptocurrency and digital assets and dealing with the IRS regarding these matters. Next you need to review the tax notice in detail with your CPA, review the notice itself, review the notice relative to what you've reported on your tax returns and your overall transaction activity. And this will inform you on the next, next best steps to take. So next steps from here can include going back and updating your cryptocurrency accounting for any missing transactions or any items that you didn't include in your accounting or your tax reporting. Once you have your accounting updated and complete and it's accurate, documented appropriately with full due diligence, then you can proceed with filing any back taxes for amended tax returns or any delinquent returns. Once those items are filed, you may also, while you're managing these processes, need to make a timely response to the tax notice, particularly if it's notice 6173. You're going to also need to make a timely response to that tax notice. So as you can see, really the first step is contacting your CPA because they're gonna be able to assist you with overall assessing the notice, making a compliance plan, seeing what your options are, determining what a proper resolution is, and then helping you get through these stages by managing the accounting, managing the tax filings, and managing any communication and resolution with the IRS. Are you concerned about your transaction information from cracking being shared with the IRS? Have you possibly already received a tax notice related to these transactions and do you have to go back and do your accounting for several years in the past in order to in order to get into compliance with the IRS well that is something that me and my team at Camuso CPA work with investors and businesses on on a daily basis if you need to respond and manage tax notices related to your cryptocurrency transactions. If you need to handle your cryptocurrency accounting for prior years, current years, or future years, or the associated tax reporting for those cryptocurrency transactions, contact me and my team today at camusocpa.com.